Look, there's nothing wrong with it. A couple of pranksters, Nikki and John, and then little Iris came along. With a mini zoo of adorable pets, you bet you get the best of Nikki and John's life. Mmm, gotcha. what are you making? Like a burrito or an omelet? Uh, well, yeah, you scared me. <laughs> I was flipping my omelet, you scared me, I messed it up. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I just thought you looked cute when you make breakfast. Thanks, yeah, I thought I'd just do a sausage. Omelet, a lot of protein. I'm down to 100, 210 pounds from like 222 a month and a half ago. That's great. Yeah. Congratulations. But I get to eat lots of meat. And you're putting on a lot of muscle too. Uh, working on it, yeah. I'll put the tickets. I'll put the tickets for sale in the comment section or in the description below. Am I supposed to say tickets to what? Tickets to what? Good job. <laughs> Sorry, I don't do that a lot. Yum yum eggs. Mommy made you eggs. You like the eggs mommy makes too. Not just daddy's eggs. Actually in high school I remember a teacher came up to me in class and he goes, Hey Nikki, did you hear I got arrested this weekend? And I said, uh, that's probably not something you should be telling your one of your students. And he goes, well, aren't you gonna ask why I got arrested? I was like, why did you get arrested? He goes, for having two guns and a six pack. It's just like, okay. Oof, good morning guys. Another wonderful day here in Southern California. The weather is wonderful. Ooh, dang, look at that. So I, uh, today with the help of Kevin from The Neighbors, I'll link their channel below, I'm going to replace this fence. Uh, Kevin and I have been kind of preparing for this job for a week or two. We got all the wood and all the hardware we need, but as you can see, this fence is in complete disarray. Kevin just got here. Hey. We got a, I think we have a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah. I've pulled off most of the vines, so I still gotta go up there and trim a few, but other than that, a lot of it's gonna come from the bottom, though. Like that stuff that's filled in there. Well, let's get started. Yeah. Cutting boards. So you say this is going to be an all-day thing. You can take down that fence and put it back up. Hmm. It might even be a two-day job. Boys hard at work. Cleaning my closet last night, I found a bunch of clothes that I had lost and kind of forgot about. It was just hidden in the closet. So score. Aphrodite, kitty kitty kitty. Oh, hello. Nope, too lazy to poke her head up. Hi, kitty. Oh, thank you. Where is Iris? Where is Iris? There she is. Where's Iris? Where is she? Iris. Where is Iris? Where is Iris? That's the little dance they do in her gymnastics class. You, they say like, where is the kid's name? And they cover their eyes like this. And it's so cute because Iris remembers. And I took her to gy gymnastics class this morning. And um, when they started singing that, she started closing her eyes. And she did the little movements. I was like, hey, that's pretty good for a 15 month old. You lazy today? Yeah. You wanna tell everyone how many teeth you have? You have 12 teeth. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she got four of her molars on each side. Yay! Is that elephant so fun? She is so crazy, just all over the place, always. Oh my gosh, the other day, I found her in the fireplace. I got the video on my cell phone. I look away for one second and I turn around and look where Iris is. Iris, you are in ashes. We should call you Cinderella from now on. Please come out of there. Thank you. Ugh. But I was just like, why? Oh my gosh, she left. She left. She figured out how to open this door. She, if we don't put something in front of it, she figures out in a short amount of time that she can just push it open if she pushes hard. Are you gonna shut me in here now? How do you like it, Mom? See you later, now you're trapped. 
Hey! Wow! Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, what a nice day out. It is so nice out right now. Man, this, let me tell you what, this is a lot of work. A lot more work than I anticipated, so. Here's the pile of old fence that we knocked down. There is the frame to the new fence. And we're gonna continue on. We're probably gonna do try to do at least two sections today, if not three. Uh, but it's probably gonna be a, end up being a two-day job. But there's the frame. Now we just need to add all the fence boards with a nail gun. We'll poof, 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 and just go along, put all the boards up. Here's all the wood for the fence. Here's our workstation. But it's lunchtime, so we're going to get some pizza. But we decided to get Georgie's pizza for lunch, so I know I'm kind of on a diet. I shouldn't be eating pizza, but I feel like I worked pretty hard. Worked out really hard yesterday. Worked hard on this fence today, so I'm gonna have a little bit of pizza. Dal's gonna kill me because he loves this stuff. Yeah. Mm, cheesy. Kevin just texted Val a picture of the pizza, and she was like, ah, it's not nice, but whew. I am full, ready to get back to work, try to work through this food coma that we just put ourselves in. Yep, sorry, now I trapped you. Mommy wants to do something nice for Daddy. She even figured out how to open this if you don't make sure it's locked. Like, she knows how to lift the handle up and push the door open. Well, since the guys are working so hard on the fence out there, I want to surprise them with some lemonade. I found some drink powder in the cupboard. That's about as good as it's gonna get with me. I've made you some lemonade. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it, I swear. <laughs> Stop, I will get one. I just wanted to show you that I made you some. Stand back, lady. The first thing I thought of. I've got a board with a nail in it. I know how to use it. Oh no, they have boards with nails. You remember that Simpsons episode? Like that's how they defeated aliens. They don't have boards too big when the nails will be too big and they'll kill themselves. Yeah. They'll build bigger boards with bigger nails, and they'll destroy themselves. Where would you like me to put it? I'll bring some cups out. Is really hard with that? Yes, I wanted to be nice to you. Okay, we're doing a lot of hard work here. I know. I'm not pranking you. I promise. Uh, you can sit over there by my water bottle. Okay. It's a lot of work. I know, but you guys are making real progress. That looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, legit. The one is basically just falling over, so it's. Mm hmm See, that's what happens when you make prank videos. You try to actually do something nice, and someone thinks you're trying to prank them. He's still questioning me. Where did you get this lemonade? I made it. There is ice in it already. What? <sighs> not good at. Good, not good enough. I did. There is ice in it. All right, I'll get more ice. Ah! Hope that's enough ice. Look. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm. Real lemonade. <laughs> Drink it all. <laughs> well, I only took a little bit. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I didn't pour a whole glass. Do you want me to get bring you a glass? Hey, what are you gonna do with that bag? Eat your table, goldfish. Oh, ah, you want to eat it out of the bag like a big girl. What he discovers is the foundations mm. of the mm. of mm. 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 of their foundations. <laughs> Splish, splash, splish, splash. Why do kids do that? Why do they drink the bath water and suck it out of a washcloth? Let me ask you a question. I had this conversation with Caitlin the other day. 
Do you think it's weird to take a bath with your kid? Because the more parents I talk to, it seems like everybody does it. You know, like young, when your kids are real young. Iris went through a phase where she was just really scared to go in the bath. And I ended up having to take a bath with her and like finally she got over it, but she was only fine when I was in there with her for a while. And Caitlin's like, yeah, I take a bath with my kids. Every mom I know takes a bath with their kids. You know, like it's not like they're 12. All right, so now we are uh, taking out the old dishwasher and putting in the new one, which is right there. Got a little bit of water in the bucket. <laughs> you seriously have no idea how big a deal it is that we're getting a dishwasher, finally. We have been without a dishwasher since last March, or last April, I wanna say. We never and had a dishwasher, really. It worked for like a month yeah. when we first got here. We've never had one though, ever in California. Yeah, it's been crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna grab her. But yeah, we have had the runaround for months and months and months trying to get a dishwasher. Like Sears was being shady. It broke right away when we got it the first time and we couldn't get a new one until now. Yay, we have a dishwasher! Mmm. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today. John and Kevin are exhausted from working and thank you so much to Kevin for coming in, helping us out and putting up the fence and putting in the dishwasher. The kitchen is gonna be able to stay so much cleaner now that we're not spending so much time doing dishes every day. It's almost next files time, so please go ahead, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mm -hmm.